I have to be honest. Originally, I had the boys game between St. Mary's and Mandan as my top story. But the girls game was so good that we had to make some changes. And we start late in the second half. 30 seconds left, St. Mary's down four. Maria Mann on the block, and she's gonna make the basket, and we have a two-point game, 54-52. On the next possession, Mandan, they're gonna drive to the basket and miss their first attempt, but on the putback, they are fouled, so free throws can ice the game for the Braves. But Mandan misses the first and the second. St. Mary's grabs the rebound with 5.9 seconds and calls a timeout. A two will tie, a three will win it. And on the play, St. Mary's with a little trouble starting the play. However, they do pass it and they're able to get a shot off. But it's no good. Mandan survives 54-52. Here's head coach from Mandan, Abby Thomas, on her defensive strategy on that last play. If we told them that only threes could beat us at this point, we don't want to give up any twos to the hoop. So we had to make sure that we closed out low and, and anticipated that somebody was going to try to take it at us. All right, so Mandan wins 54-52. Now let's go to the boys game. We start with Mandan up seven points midway through the first half. And it's St. Mary's Jackson Wiseman. He drives to the basket and gets the contact. And now it's only a five-point game. But later, Mandan is back up eight. And Mandan's Trey Wiest is left open for three. He makes it a double-digit lead, 33-22. The Mandan boys win 74-53. And one more girls game, Legacy. Is at Minot, and the save with Alexis Dressler goes across the lane, and she reverses her drive and hits the one-handed jumper. Then later, the save with Mackenzie Boone working against the defense. She reverses her pivot. She makes the bucket plus the foul. Legacy wins this one, 57 to 41.